On this episode, I talk about NT basketball and are hobby prices going to stay this high forever? Let's go! This is Dave, and welcome to the SVA Card Collectors Podcast. What is up? What is going on, everyone? David, SVA Card Collectors. I am recording on Friday. I'll be releasing this on Monday, so if I miss some stuff over the weekend, weekend, I don't know, <laughs> over the weekend, uh, over the weekend, um, tough nuts. That's what I got to say about that. I am once again driving, so you will hear the air conditioning because it is his hot out. I don't think that's how that works. It's hot out. So, um, I've been, I, I follow this uh, Instagram at card porn, and basically they are, they, they have themselves as like uh, watching out for the little people, making sure that people aren't taken advantage of, and the whole nine yards. And I do believe that is their mission statement, and that's what they do. I think they do a pretty good job of it, uh, truthfully. So, um, I, I know other people, sometimes I read the comments and they have like other hidden agendas and things like that. They might, I don't know. I don't think they do. Um, Way to cover both bases again, Dave. Be really uh, strong. I don't think they are. I'll, I'll, uh, I, I think they're, they're doing right by the hobby. So, um, first off, it came out like uh, National Treasures is coming out. Everybody's getting all excited. The, you know, everything, the hum is getting hard and everyone's getting excited. Um, and so they start noticing that Lamella Ball's signature looks like Mikhail Bridges. And at first I thought it was Miles Bridges, you know, on his team, but... It's Mikhail Bridges from the Suns. And at first everyone's like, ah, they made the stickers. They put their own stickers on the top guy. And to be honest with you, to me, it's still not clear. They're saying, no, they didn't. That's just his signature. Uh, it it looks, it, it don't look good. It looks exactly the same. There's not even a, like a little bit of a difference. And it's not even like, a, oh, well, he went a little left and he went a little right. It's exactly the same to me anyway. So, um... I think there is chicanery afoot with regards to that, but who knows? But then, now, I don't know if this is typical. I, I don't, because I don't buy national treasures too often because it's too, uh, too expensive for me. Uh, it's too rich for my blood. And they have on the back that it is a, uh, long story short, the jerseys, it's not player worn, it's not game worn, it's, you know... You're lucky uh, if the guy even looked at it. It's just a jersey. So it's not even really affiliated with the player. And everyone's complaining, people paying, you know, seven, eight grand for a box, a case, or whatever the case may be. And I don't even know how much it is because to me, it, it, it's all overpriced. And they're saying, you know, the amount of money that we're paying for this product, for these cards, it, it should be game worn. And it should be. Um, the fact that it isn't is just another thing Panini's trying to do to screw the people. You are screwing yourselves if you're buying into these breaks. <laughs> That's what you're doing. You are throwing money uh, into the toilet bowl, hoping to get a Lamella ball autographed, which may or may not be autographed by him, and have a jersey that may or he may not have even looked at. Um, and it's just, it's just, what do you do? It seems like a messed up product, but everybody all over the place breaking it and having fun and everyone's getting all excited. So then this company of Blez Trading, B-L-E-Z Trading, this guy, he does a video as if uh, he's LeBron James uh, in the decision. I'm going to be taking my talents of breaking cards uh, to Instagram. No, um, he's a, a big breaker, I'm guessing. The guy's wearing shorts, flip-flops, uh, shirt, you know saying, um, I opened up a box. I'm not going to open up any more boxes because there's no value in it. I can't do that. I'm good conscious in the whole nine yards. And then he goes, but wait, watch out for Spectra. So, I, I'm, a lot of people going, yay, you know, I'm glad you're doing that. Which, I think it is a good thing for um, breakers or, or companies to um, not open up card, you know, boxes of cards that really people are going to get screwed out of. But he, he looks like 
I'm going to be taking my talents. Like, he looked ridiculous. What are you doing? Just say, hey, I'm not going to open up these cards. He didn't have to do a whole production. He just looks silly to me anyway. Just looks silly. Looks like he was, like, making a big deal, a big uh, grant. I mean, I guess that's how you uh, uh, market your, your store and you make yourself look good. But it's like, I will not try to screw you people. Um, what do you mean, you people? Um, you people, because there's no value in this. So please sign up for my $800 hobby box of Panini Select. Like, <laughs> you're screwing that. there's no value in any of these boxes that you sell for $800,000. You, you wouldn't be a breaker then. Because there's no way in good conscience that you could say, hey, um, here's a card. You may get a $200 card uh, <laughs> breaking with us. But 99% of the time, you're going to get a $5 card. Like, the whole point of breaking is not getting value. Um, th there's no way in God's green earth, every single time you go into a break, you're going to get value. It's just not happening. It's just not. Even if you buy a box by yourself, you're not going to get value. It's just, that's not what this is all about now. It just, it just isn't. Um, to me, buying modern hobby boxes, jumbo boxes, is ludicrous. Um, I think it's dumb. I, I don't know in, and, and I would like to hear some people's comments. Um, I don't know where the hell you guys listen to. Maybe on the Facebook page, make a comment, or do whatever. I don't know what you kids do these days. Um, do you think that buying a hobby box now of modern cards is going to pay dividends later on? Do you think in 10, 15 years, these prices are going to be even higher? Do you think it's going to be, or do you think the price is going to drop down because people are realizing this is crazy to be spending this much money. I don't know. I, I'm not, I go back and forth with it. You know, like 1985 tops. That's a set. That's a box that I would buy and you hold. And that's always going to go up because you got, you got a ton of Hall of Fame. Well, should be Hall of Famers. Uh, you got a ton of cards in there that, that are good. Um, they're hard to get in, in uh, you know, uh, PSA 10s. It's, it's difficult. So there's something to that box. These other ones, I just, I don't know. I just don't see it. Unless there's like a crazy good, uh, you know, three or four rookies to go after. It just doesn't make sense to pay the exorbitant amount of money that, that they're going for now. But again, I, I'm not saying that you're, you're wrong either. I, I wouldn't argue, I wouldn't be on like on top of a rock or a boulder or a stone or whatever. I'd be on and just fighting this to the death because I'm not I'm, I'm not too sure about that uh, you know I'm, I'm pretty sure about base cards being overproduced and the value not being there um, stupid water bottles going underneath my feet as I'm driving that's always a positive thing um, but you know when it comes to this stuff I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure but I do know this you are not getting value in any of the cards that they're breaking. So if he's gonna stand on his podium, he better do that for basically every single thing that he's breaking. So it's a little uh, ingenuous, I think. Or disingenuous, disingenuous, yes. Hopefully English comes back to me. Um, so those are the two big things I saw, um, you know, as I did my podcast yesterday. And it was just like, <sighs> it's just very disheartening that people cannot buy uh, box, <laughs> boxes and you'd be like, oh, well, you could buy a blaster box for $400 or $300 instead of paying 800 bucks for um, a hobby. Oh, what a deal. Yuck. It's just ridiculous. The fact that breakers are so, have so much power uh, and it's all our fault. It's like we created them. You know, we can, not, we can stop creating them by just stop buying into this stuff. But we can't. Because gambling is an addiction, and people love to gamble, and they get um, a high off of it, and that will never change. And so I think this will continue on and on and on, and eventually it's going to be a select few. You're going to have the big guys just start buying, not buying people out, but just taking more and more of their allocations, which is already happening, um, and they're just going to drive everyone out, um, which... Is what's happening. I mean, small guys can do it. They're just buying it off of eBay, and those dummies are spending more and more money. I, I true. I don't even watch box breaks anymore. Uh, a, because it's I'm like an addict. I don't want to get hooked back on, and then I'll be like, oh, all right, all right, I'll spend forty bucks on a pack. 
It's like a forty. Like literally, it's like people spending fifty, sixty dollars on a pack. What are you doing for five or six cards? It's stupid. And then you go on eBay and get those same cards for like a buck, cause they ain't worth nothing. And even if you do get something good, you could probably get it for 15, 20 bucks. It's just silly. Just silly, silly, silly. Um, I don't know if I spoke about this last time. I know I spoke about um, midget porn, which I think was very popular. Very popular. Um, but SGC, I've got my SGC um, cards back, 22 cards yesterday uh, on my birthday i'm 40 years old now 40 years young Ugh. and um so uh i will be doing a reveal video um probably will be out by now once you you know by the time you're hearing this it'll already be out um it was a mixed bag so uh but i, I i'm happy and again as you see very consistent the nines i could tell they were nines and what reasons they were uh, 9.5, you know, they, I have some that were nines that I thought I could get a 9.5 and that's why I sent them in and uh, that didn't happen, but I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I should also be getting, I think 14 cards from PSA from uh, a modern thing, you know, modern, which is I think 2017 and before from November. I'm glad they're lickety split on that. And I see a lot of people talking about how PSA is still millions and millions of cards behind. Um, and they haven't even hit the peak of when everyone and their mother was shipping cards in, which is right around, I think, July or August of the pandemic. So once that hits, I think it's going to come to a grinding halt again. Uh, or, or it's going to get a lot slower again to try to get your, you know, if you're if you have those cards from way back when and during that time, it's going to be really slow pickings for that. And so I was keep on uh, sending stuff to SGC. Um, you know, adjust. Don't just go, well, I'm just not going to get cards graded. I, I don't suggest CSG right now just because the resale values aren't that great. And I just, ha just haven't seen it. They look nice. Uh, I'm, I'm over the label. I think they do a good job grading. I just... I think SGC's got the uh, mojo right now because they really, really are doing a good job with their returns. Again, I got mine within less than a month. Uh, it was three weeks. And so you continue to do that. Um, it's going to pay dividends. And if they keep on doing this for the entire year, why would you go back to, to PSA? Why? They're just as good as grading, SGC. I don't want to hear, oh, no, PSA. But no, they're just as, they're just as good. Um, so uh, it's just it's just getting sales once you start getting a sales history um people will go oh all right well there's a bunch of solds for sgc and it's, you're going to see that in a lot of the cards that are coming out now and from last year that they couldn't go to psa because you know a lot of those base cards that you would send to psa because it was like 15 bucks um they may still send them to sgc because it's only 30 bucks or 25 if you go with a uh, group uh, bulk submitters and so uh, I, I see good things. If they continue to do this, they're going to do really well. I think they will. I don't know if they'll catch up to PSA, but I think they will be better than Beckett. Um, and, I mean, they're already, to me, they're already better than Beckett, but uh, it's going to take a little more convincing of everyone else. So we got that going. Um, eBay's moseying on. I listed uh, more cards like I do every single day. And I sold cards every single day. Um, it's pretty crazy how that algorithm works. If you post every single day, Saturday and Sunday as well, you will get consistent sales. It's without a doubt. I mean, as long as you're pricing it accordingly and you're taking good pictures and you're filling out what you need to fill out. Now, um, I've decided I'm going to buy a laptop, a nice cheap one. Because uh, usually what I do is when I take my pictures, I go upstairs and uh, I, I got to deal with my monsters. The three kids, they're a bunch of jerks. Uh, they bother me. They start hitting me. And yeah, yeah. While well, I'm trying to list cards and, you know, paying attention, you don't love me. You know, where's my other daddy? The whole nine yards. Why are they beeping? Anyway, it wasn't to me. So, um, that's 
it's, it's very distracting. If I can have a laptop, I put it downstairs in my little green room. And as I'm taking the pictures, I can then upload them right then and there and do everything. It, I will save a ton of time. But with that, I will also have a webcam on there and I can share my uh, screen and I will show you guys um, how to list correctly on eBay and the specific things that you need to fill out to make your card. Um, you don't have to fill out every single attribute known to man on eBay. There's certain ones that you need to figure out that will optimize their listing. Um, and so I will show you that. And you don't have to fill out anything else. The problem is when you, I've been doing, I still do sell like, you know, sell like this. You know, if you see a card that you have and then it's like, oh, do you, you want to sell one like this? You hit that button. Uh, a lot of people uh, suck at listing and they just fill out all the attributes because willy nilly and it makes no sense. Like a lot of people go put not applicable. Well, you put something in there. So the algorithm is going to go, all right, well, if you have not applicable, uh, you're going to show up. No one searches for not applicable. So you might be all right, but you're screwing with it. Just don't put anything. Leave it empty. Don't give any information if there isn't. Um, or they give different people's names, different teams. If stuff doesn't match up correctly, if you have uh, the number of the card and the title um, and you put it differently in the uh, attributes, it's going to mess up. So if you put 90 on the title and 75 on the, you know, the specifics, it's going to charge, you know, it'll show 75 when sometimes and people are like, well, that's not what I want. And if you show up enough times in places that that's not what the customer is looking for, it's going to hurt your ranking. And you could go down, 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 down. So there's always these, there's a lot of fun stuff that you can learn on eBay. Um, and it's just getting deals, listing your cards, good titles, the whole nine yards. Uh, enough about that. All right, there. Okay, good. You're done with your eBay rant. With your, with your fees. Hey, Phoebe! All right. Um, also, I don't know what's happening with my Yankees. They stink. They went from one of having the best bullpens to the worst bullpens. That guy, Zach Britton, stinks. I don't know why anybody in God's green earth would get a starting pitcher from the Angels. Uh, Heaney stinks. And I could have told you that when we got him. I don't know why they would pick up. If, if anyone, if his name is not Otani, they suck on the Angels with regards to pitching. I don't want them on my team, especially starters. That's why they are where they are, because they can't pitch. So I'm just annoyed. Stupid White Sox. Eloy Jimenez is hitting a ton. I have all these cards, Eloy Jimenez cards, and I can't send them into SGC because that's not the place you want to send them. I have a lot of Heritage cards. Um, I think... Vlad Heritage is good. I don't know if Eloy Heritage is good. Um, I have to check up on it, but for the most part, with regards to base cards. Base cards do not do well on SGC. You're going to be getting, even if it's a 10, you're only going to get like 35, 40 bucks. It's just not worth it. Um, unless you have like superstar. You know, if it's like a Mike Trout, then, then go ahead and do it. Um, even Vlad Guerrero, if I remember correctly, was like 80 or 90 bucks because the PSAs were going for over 100. Tatis would be fine. Alonzo wouldn't. Um, it just all depends on the guy, but for the most part, I would say steer clear of sending in base, uh, to SGC. Um, and, and that's where I'm, I'm stuck on. I have a bunch of those. I have some refractors that I have to check and see, um, if there's any, hopefully there isn't any SGC solds. And that's another thing you may be able to, to uh, set the market and get a sold for pretty high. And then, then you'll know, all right, now I can sell it for this amount. Or, or, you know, roughly thereabout. So that's where you should be going as well. I'm trying to think if there's any other news stories. I know in the national the car show, a lot of people coming back um, with COVID. A lot of people, you know, some people had the vaccine and they were still, you know, getting it. And I'm surprised more of them aren't dropping like flies because they're not the healthiest crew of people there. <laughs> I thought I thought these guys would be dropping and these cards would be able to get them no problem. Which is like, uh, <laughs> what a terrible thing I just said. Ah, whatever. I'm sure I'm sure they're listening. It's seven people, but um, yeah, I, I'm surprised it isn't even more than uh, what is. I know that Investa card 
guy had it, and he wasn't looking too uh, sharp, but now he's back. Um, he's got something where he's like a car salesman. I, I just don't trust the guy. He might be the nicest guy in the world, and that's why I'm going to preface this by if I'm looking at I don't know him personally. I don't know anything except for his videos. That's the only thing I know about him. Based off his videos, I would think he's trying to screw me out of something. I don't know how. I don't know why. But well, I don't know why to get my money. But somehow, some way, he's gonna try to get me. That's the way his whole gimmick seems to me. He just like fast daddy, you know, like one of the, like a. I, I don't know. I just. I get the I don't trust this guy vibe. And he's done nothing to me or anyone I know to give me that. So I want to preface that because I don't want people like the seven people go, hey, you talking crap. He might be the nicest guy in the world. And that's why I don't, I don't like to, who cares? No one's listening to this. I, I, I'll, I'll talk crap. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I just, I don't like that type of salesmanship, I guess. I think that's probably what it is. I don't really like the way um, the, that salesmanship is. Um, now to tell me to go straight. Damn these people. Oh, God and baby Jesus, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. All right, here we go. Here we go, people. So, you know, he's got a thing where like he's gonna give you money in advance before he even sells the car. Like, how does that even work? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It just, just rubs me the wrong way. Him. And sports card investor, I'm just jealous of him. So anything that he does, I just get annoyed with. Um, he's He seems to be really hooked. In, ah, I did want to talk about something else. He's really hooked in with eBay, which I'm an advocate for. Ugh. English. Come on, Dave. English. So they have this um, uh, a new beta version of something very similar to like Card Ladder or to Sports Card Investor, his, his thing where you, you look up. Um, the card, and it'll tell you the um, the prices. It's it's horrendous. It's not good. Sorry, eBay, you, you dropped the ball. And the reason why is it's got a thousand different things on there. It, it really does. I I, I actually imported uh, the one thing that I did like. You can import your past purchases into it, so it can track it. That was cool. Um, but the prices were all wrong because they have PSA ten question mark in with a raw card, uh, in with PSA 9, in with, it's just all willy-nilly. So it, it's just, it's not accurate pricing, uh, and they really can't. It's not like Amazon. Amazon has it where everything's under one listing. You know, hey, I'm selling, um, you know, a bobblehead, uh, Aaron Judge bobblehead doll on Amazon. Everyone has to list their Aaron, Aaron Judge bobblehead doll on that one listing. And that's what makes Amazon really the most important thing on Amazon is pricing because everybody's going to be on the same listing. So for you to be in that buy box where you just have to click a button and you buy it, you have to have the lowest price. Yes, they rotate that price. Um, they rotate um, who's in that buy box, but for the most part, you got to be one of the lowest, you know, prices. It's got to be within like, you know, 15, 20 cents, somewhere around there. It might be a little bit more, a little bit less, but close to it. So you got to, that's what Amazon is. eBay, um, is good in the sense that you can charge higher, but you um, might give a better service. You might take more pictures. Um, your card's gonna be nicer. You know, my card isn't off center like someone else's card, so it should be charged a little bit more. You can't do that. So it's gonna be very difficult for um, eBay to do that. I'm surprised that they haven't, you know, and I might have talked about this in a previous, I don't know, um, th that, you know, I would think Card Ladder, or since they are so embedded with Sports Card Investor, that they would take their technology um, so he can get even more money. Jerk. And um, yeah, so I could see that path going because uh, they need help. The, the, it's not worth a hill of beans. It might be good to see um, prices. I, I think they do show the prices like of best offers. Um, I'm not a thousand percent sure. Because I have, I have a store now, so I don't know if it's because I'm I have a store, so I'm able to see, um, or not. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. So there you have it on that. I would not use it. I would 
stick if you're spending a decent amount of money, I would go after card ladder, sports card investor, you know, nonsense. But again, they don't have all the cards. And so if you got nothing else, I guess you can use it. Um, but I wouldn't rely on it too much. Uh, it's not accurate. You're going to have to fiddle through it. And it's the same thing as looking at sold and completed to me, to be honest with you. Um, because the, the, you can't really trust it. You can't trust the, the data because the data is all over the place. Or the data. I'm a data guy. I don't like data. Data sounds silly. I'm like niche. I like niche. I don't like niche. I don't know what's right. I don't know what's wrong. Whatever. All right, guys. SVACardCollectors.com. Uh, also, hit up my store. I'm always posting stuff. Check Instagram. I have the Facebook group. Um, I can't think of anything else. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't think... I, interviews, I don't know. I, there's nobody I want to interview. I, I don't... I, how many times are we going to see the same uh, guys? We're going to see the same people just interviewing each other. And, uh, you know, I, I'd like to ask them different questions, but I don't know. I just... I'm not... I'm not I don't know. Uh, I think there's enough people that do it that... Uh, that you can just listen to them. I'm not going to be able to extract any other, you know, additional information. As you kill, you know, did you have you killed anyone lately? Like, have you done, you know, just, you know, get some get some good gossip. I'm a big gossiper, so I, I like that stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're going to get that out of them. Everyone's going to, you know, statute of limitations and things like that. So it is what it is. All right, I'm done. I'm just jibber jabbering. Um, you guys know what to do. Buy some cards and go broke later!